Alright y'all, so I just got out of the shower. My hair is messed up, my face is messed up, but I'm about to make up my bed and I'll show you guys what I started doing every morning is waist training. So while I'm getting ready and everything, like while I'm just doing everything before I leave, I'm going to waist train every morning. So this right here is my cousin's brand. If you follow her at The Real Mahogany, go ahead and be waiting for her to drop the date when she's going to drop these waist trainers. They will be $55, but they're totally worth it because your body is going to be snatched. Okay. All right, so I'm about to make up my bed. It's literally like 12.36, and I just got out of the shower because I started a load of clothes, and then I just laid in my bed. I didn't even really get up. I don't have to be the clinical to two. And then I am... So, I kind of just been lounging around. I was supposed to be in up doing stuff because I got a lot of stuff to do, but I didn't. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to be in pediatrics today, which I'm kind of not excited about. I know I'm bending over talking to y'all, but I'm kind of not excited about because peds is like a med search overflow. So, they barely get any peds. So, I'm really just going to be working on like a med search floor. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get some peace, but I don't know. I'll let you guys know how I go once I leave clinicals. But like I said, I'm about to make up my bed, clean up my room a little bit, and do my face routine, do my hair. And I normally go to Starbucks, but I'm not going to be able to go to Starbucks today because I just don't feel like it. And I'm trying to save some money. So I might make me a smoothie. I might make me some juice and just eat here. I don't know. I might eat when I get there because we have a restaurant there, but I don't know, y'all. Cause our lunch isn't to six, and last time I didn't eat, I just waited till it was lunch time. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but let me make up this bed. Okay. Y'all still always trying to up for a second because I'm about to put my clothes on. But did my boy come out of Epic Fail? Yes. Do I need to wash my hair? Yes. Do I care? No. Okay. I don't care. So I got to wrap my hair. And now we're about to go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. I need to put my castor oil on. My stock will be messing up. If I need to put my castor oil on my lashes. Y'all want long lashes, long brows, more edges. Put you some organic castor oil on it. Pay me later. Don't ever say I ain't put you on it. Because you smell like that. I did. Just get you thick eyebrows. I promise you. I need to get my eyebrows done though. But yeah.
all right you guys say hello to my channel his name is oreo oh my gosh this is crooked it's bothering me but i'm about to spray him down because i have to spray him down with warm water every day he doesn't like to barrel um so i be like burying him and he be coming right back up here y'all this is where he love to hang out at i don't know why i don't know if it's not warm enough in there i don't know what it is but he stays cocoon like that when he hungry he come down if he want to play for a little bit he'll come down drink a little bit of his water but he that's mostly where he go so if y'all have any suggestions of how to get him to start barreling or is this normal like i just want to know if this normal but anyways his name is oreo my man bought him for me if your man ain't bought you a snail if your man ain't buy you a snail do your man really love you i'm a mother no drunk and right oreo <laughs> y'all i got an unhealthy snack twist i got a donut but, I do got me some water. Bae, say hey. Hola, señorita. <laughs> Y'all, so it's 1.50. And like I said, I gotta be here at two o'clock um i gotta go all the way down to the basement and i'm on the fifth floor we have to park on the fifth floor and i'm about to rush because i only have 10 minutes to get from the top the fifth floor of the parking deck to level two and then all the way down to the basement somebody was in the parking deck just holding up the parking deck line and they really slowed me down and i'm like really frustrated because now i'm gonna have to like rush into here so i don't be late but my other classmates are behind me so i guess we'll all be late because we're late we got to do a two to one ratio so we got to make up this clinical day with two days and it could be on any floor at any hospital within our region and at any time at any day and i'm not trying to do that so let's hurry up and get in here <laughs> hi guys so i know what you guys are going to say you guys are going to be like she always in the car trying to talk to somebody i know because i'm always on the go i'm always on the run but anyway so i just wanted to come on here and oh i got the hiccups and close out um my getting ready with me Ugh. i hope this ain't bothering y'all oh this sun is too bright Ooh. Y'all see me? So I just wanted to get on here and close out my getting ready with me for a clinical day. I know it was very short, but that's literally all I do when I get ready for clinicals. Only thing I would do extra is I would go to Starbucks. But that day, as y'all saw, I just ate at home. But anyways, so I had pediatric rotations for that clinical and I just decided why not because i'm going to give you guys like the rundown of all of my clinical experiences so i was just like why not tell them how my pediatric experience went 
because that's what I had. So basically, like I was saying earlier, it's kind of like a step down unit. Not a step down unit. What am I talking about? It's basically like an overflow unit. So you get a lot of med surge patients, not just at my hospital, but at multiple hospitals. You get a lot of med surge patients. Um as well as a lot of kids but it's definitely going to be an overflow unit so think about that when you want to go into peds if you want to do strictly children you're probably going to have to go to like a pediatric clinic or you're going to probably have to go to like a doctor's office or something like that but anyways that's the same thing <laughs> but anyways um or like a pediatric er um we have one of those as well but we just didn't have our clinical rotations over there but anyways i personally did not like my peds rotation because like i say i really don't like med surge and it's a lot of med surge patients on that floor um i didn't really get a lot of experience with the peds so i can't really give you guys like my full peds experience um I can but and then it was really really slow so a lot of students just went instead of um doing their rotation they went and did like COVID vaccines um so yeah like it was really really slow really really uh, if you want to bounce back and forth from children to med surge that's like I honestly I'm sorry this is so crappy but that's probably why I made it into this video well that is why I made it into two like this video because it's not really much to say about that floor I really don't like it I feel like if it was more children then I would like it I don't know but the babies and the children that we did have they were very very fussy um because they're sick they were very clingy to mom we really didn't get to hold them as much, touch them. We only would go in there and mess with them with their assessments because they really hated the doctor, the nurse, everything. So they would cry very alike. But it was some kids that were, because I had two P's rotations. And so it was some kids that didn't mind it. They didn't care um, because they were older. But most of the babies and stuff, they really just want their parents. So you're really not going to get a lot of hands-on with babies. Um, with the kids, though... It depended on the child some of the children were very like they wanted you to play with them which was really fun they would like to color with you but then it was some kids that was very reserved and they just wanted to sleep so honestly if you like mixed emotions if you like mixed age groups if you like just a mixture of things <laughs> don't like you know some people really want to specialize in like children and specialize in pediatrics but they don't want to lose their skills i would definitely recommend med i mean pediatric because you're going to get some med surge patients so you're going to get those ivs and all this other stuff skills that you're going to have that a lot of people think that you lose when you go to the younger children um but dosage and calculations medication when you giving it to children it's like detrimental because if you give them an ounce a drop a point of too much of medication you can definitely kill a child kill a baby um whereas if you get an older adult you can probably pretty much help them like they, they, they we we are we're okay the grown-ups we're okay but babies and kids is very strict very a lot of you have to have a lot of nurses verify with you so if you're about to give a med some meds a lot of meds like the joxin and all of this you have to get another nurse to verify it with you because that's just how critical it is if you accidentally give a child too much so yeah if you want to go more so into if you're the type of people that like mixture of age groups mixture of different um medications and also a mixture of not a mixture um getting a lot of assistance like getting a lot of help from other nurses i'm sorry y'all that is that my lighting is horrible but yeah getting a lot of help from other nurses and not just solely by yourself like in a lot of icu floors um then i would definitely recommend the peds for you but i just personally don't feel like it's for me i love nursery but pediatric it's not really my thing yeah look at this airplane Y'all see it? Y'all can't see it. It won't focus. It's taking too long. It's too long. 
but anyways guys that wraps up this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and without further ado